Let's go to Joel, who's on the line in Toronto, Canada. Joel, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. How can I help? So I recently heard you on a podcast of the Dave Ramsey Show talking about how the resume is essentially useless without a connection. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm wondering, I'm, I'm looking to move out of my area, move from Toronto, um, and I'm wondering how do I approach that when I'm looking to move to an area where I don't have connections? Mm -hmm. Well, what are you looking to move into? I'm assuming you're moving uh, for either personal or professional reasons. So regardless, what kind of work do you want to get into? I've done a little bit of everything. Um, I mean, on, on one hand, if I'm entirely candid, I've applied for marketing at Ramsey Solutions. Uh, but I've I've done stuff with, um, you know, consumer products. I'm in a B2B role right now. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to try out more B2C. Um, so go for certain... it. So, so here's the deal. So let, let, let's, just, let's just draw string this thing up here. You've applied for a position here at Ramsey Solutions, which means you're moving well out of the Toronto area. <laughs> so why yeah. are you asking me about, you know, how do I make connections where I don't know anybody outside of Toronto? The, the reality is, is that you've got to start shaking the relationship tree that you have in, in marketing, you know, in, in, in any anything you've ever done. You start thinking about who do I have uh, that are acquaintances on my list? Who do I have that are good friends on my list? Who from college is on my list? Uh, that are in the States. You start thinking about the United States and, you know, connections there. You know, it's no different than moving outside of Toronto, uh, which was the, the initial question, uh, versus, all right, I don't know anybody at Ramsey Solutions. I know Ken because I'm talking to him on the phone. But, you yeah. know, it's going to be a long shot for you to get hired here without a relationship. So you're not always going to be able to necessarily find it in the first two or three degrees. This is what I teach. You might have to yeah. get creative and think seven degrees. And I, I here's what I would here's what I would say to you, Joel. I think that if yeah. you spent one whole month, any spare moment of thought time you have, late at night, before bed, early in the morning, before the wife gets up, uh, Saturday morning, Sunday afternoons, whatever, and you were thinking about who do I know that knows somebody that knows somebody that works at Ramsey Solutions. Like if you worked hard enough, could you make a connection to somebody here at Ramsey Solutions? I think the answer is yes. I mean, even if it's seven degrees. Okay, so I've got my college buddy uh, who uh, actually knows one of the uh, FPU counselors, one of the FPU coaches, and uh, mm -hmm. so so he's willing to reach out to him and tell him about me and, uh, and, and, and take five minutes to tell him about me and let him know that I've already applied. So that's, that's, that's three degrees right there, really two, really two degrees just from you. So th this is the process, and it seems scary, and it seems intimidating, and I, I hear the cynics right now. Some of you out there going, well, Ken, that's crazy. No, it's not. It's all about the value of your initial relationship. It's not about the value of the relationship that's two or three people away. All of those connections away from you, directly away from you, those are based on credibility of the previous relationship. So if I'm in Toronto, Canada, I'm trying to think of everybody that I know that knows somebody that lives in the United States, right? I'll start there. It's just, you're brainstorming. Like, oh, yeah, I got a college buddy. He lives in Tennessee. Does he know anybody over there? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. You know, uh, what about somebody in my church? Uh, you know, do I follow anybody, any of my friends uh, that I know on social media, uh, they're, they're from college, um, do, do, they, do they know anybody? And you just start asking and asking and asking and asking until you get to a point where you're maybe four or five people away from one of our team members here at Ramsey Solutions. And you work that chain till it gets to a point where somebody in that chain goes out and vouches for you and says, hey, let me tell you, I just heard about a guy named Joel. He's applied for marketing. Uh, he's in Baby Step 3, big-time Dave fan. This is he and his wife's story. This is what he's done. He's got great experience, loves the culture. Uh, he just submitted his resume, um, and I'm wondering if you would, uh, you know, how you feel about, you know, recommending him. Would you put your name on it? And that person here says, well, based on the fact that you say that he's such a great guy, 
uh, I'd be willing to jump on the phone with Joel real quick and just just so that I feel good about it. Oh, great, great. Or maybe they just say, you know what? Absolutely. I'll email uh, HR right now and say, hey, uh, this person has applied and and he comes highly recommended from one of my closest friends or from one of my most respected coworkers from a previous stop. Now, when I put it that way, you cynics have to run and hide. Now, does that take time? Yeah. Because you got to really think through it. And then not only think through the connection, you got to chase the connections. But it's turning over rocks or shaking the relationship tree. This is the idea of my brother and I. When we go up to Michigan, the upper peninsula of Michigan when we were kids, we'd go to my grandpa's uh, farm and we would jump on the branches of these small apple trees and we would just shake, jump up and down and kind of shake on a hang on them. And all these little apples would fall off, and then we would eat some and throw the others at each other. But when shaking the tree, the apples fell off. And so the idea of shaking the relationship tree is a is an action. You got to stir things up, shake things up. You got to get active out there. And if you do it enough, the relationship will develop. I'm telling you. It's why the seven degrees of Kevin Bacon is a fun game. Some of them go, all right, connect Kevin Bacon and Julia Roberts. And then you got to sit there and you got to think, well, Kevin Bacon was in this film with this person who's Julia Roberts' brother, so there's two, two degrees. So you can be cynical all you want to. It works. So here's an exercise for you, Joel. Connect Kevin Bacon and Kevin Hart. Go. Just do it today, just for fun. See how many degrees it takes you to connect Kevin Bacon to Kevin Hart from films they've been in, relationships they have. And when you do that, it's the same process for you trying to find somebody who works at Ramsey Solutions, just as an example. So don't tell me it can't be done. Is it going to happen fast? Probably not. Is it going to work every time? Probably not. But can it work? You bet. Will it work if I stay with it long enough? You bet. I'm on fire. Don't you test me on this shake the relationship tree, folks. It works. I don't know anybody in this area. Tough cookies. It's called work. Go after it. Hustle.